Good evening, dear friends, and welcome. Welcome to our Wednesday evening midnight vigil, where we come on this amazing feast of the guardian angels. And I welcome you, and I thank you for joining me. And we light a candle now for peace, for unity, and for justice in the struggled world. And we say the following prayer. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother God Supreme, who creates life, in the name of the risen cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia, who is our beloved Earth Mother, who nurtures the divine in all life, and in the name of all faith traditions and none, for they are the children of God, our brothers and sisters. And in the name of spiritual diversity, I welcome you on behalf of the brothers and sisters of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans. Let us just be still. And this evening, instead of me talking and reading, I'm going to play one of my meditation CDs that I recorded some 12 years ago on meeting your personal guardian angel. And it is appropriate for the celebration of our guardian angel. So I would like us to just be still as we play this beautiful recording, which has touched many lives. And we begin. Find a place where you feel warm, safe and comfortable. You may wish to create a prayer corner with some fresh flowers, crystals and a white candle. You could burn some incense if you wish. These things help to create the right atmosphere for connecting with your angels. Now I invite you to join me in a very special journey to meet your companion guardian angel. Just allow yourself to relax and let go of any tension that may be present in your body. Bring your attention to your breathing. Notice the steady even rhythm. Just know that as you breathe in, you breathe in unconditional selfless love. And as you breathe out, you are letting go of all your stress. Any problems or difficult situations you have to deal with. Now as you breathe in, you notice that momentary pause between the in-breath and the out-breath, and the pause between the out-breath and the in-breath. You let your attention shift to the pause, and just sit in that stillness. You feel totally relaxed and at peace. Now take a deep, non-labored breath. Hold it, and now begin to release your out-breath, slowly and effortlessly. Let's try this again. Breathe in slowly and effortlessly. 
Now hold it. And as you breathe out, you are letting go of all tension. Let's try this once more time. As you breathe in, take a deep, non-labored breath and sense the peace that has enveloped your space. Now hold it. And as you breathe out slowly and effortlessly, you are letting go of all stress. Be aware of the calmness that is all around you. Now see yourself walking calmly through a field. You are enjoying the gentle breeze and the bright warm sunshine. You notice a wooded area up ahead and decide to spend some time among the trees. As you enter the wood, you sense the presence of the angels of nature, the tree divas and the fairies, welcoming you into their domain. You feel a deep joy and contentment. You stroll through the woods, enjoying the colors and scents of the flowers, the sounds of the birds singing and the rustling of the leaves. In the near distance, you can hear the sounds of trickling water from the nearby waterfall. These sounds are refreshing and soothing for your mind, your body, and your spirit. You come to a clearing and notice that in the middle of it, there is a beautiful building with a big oak door. As you come to the edge of the clearing and glance down, you notice some steps cut into the side of the slope. You walk slowly down the steps, counting, if you wish, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and along the path to the door. As you arrive at the door, it opens and you walk through it into a hallway with a beautiful spiral staircase, which appears to be made entirely of exquisite rainbow light. You gaze at it in wonder and you begin to sense a presence, like a fine mist, floating down the stairs towards you. As you watch it approach, you have a deep sense of calm and peace. The mist dissolves and from it appears the most radiantly beautiful being you have ever seen. Look into their eyes and feel the unconditional love radiating from them. You know to the deepest level of your being that you are totally loved and accepted exactly as you are.
sense the peace, the gentleness, and the stillness as you quietly absorb the sacred healing energies surrounding you both. Experience the gentleness and radiant beauty that has filled the room. The tranquility within the room is encouraging you to embrace the healing energies there. Now engage your mind, your body, and your spirit, and experience selfless, unconditional love. As you breathe in, just be aware of this pure, unconditional love all around you. This love is the Creator's free gift to you right now. As you breathe in again, just be aware that this pure selfless love is now refreshing your mind, your body, and your spirit. Just enjoy and sense the healing energies flow into your being. There is a deep sense of tranquility all around you. As you breathe in, just feel that unconditional love fill every cell of your body. angel takes you by the hand and leads you through a door into a large comfy room. There are two large armchairs and you both sit down. Once again you look into their eyes and still feeling the love, love that surrounds you, you may respectfully ask your companion's name. Now you may ask if your companion has any message for you that will help you on your path. As you breathe in, just be aware that there is only love here. Bask in the serenity and stillness that surrounds you both as you rest a while here. Sense that as you bask in this pure light of selfless healing love, you sense an immediate effect, empowering you to be yourself and enjoy this wonderful experience. You are feeling relaxed and calm now. There is a feeling of absolute joy radiating into your heart center. You are feeling total bliss and the experience has invigorated your mind, your body and your spirit, leaving you relaxed, renewed and refreshed. Rest now and enjoy. As you breathe in again, you are feeling re-energized and encouraged in your being.
it is time to leave now. So take a moment to express your thanks to your companion and say goodbye. Again, you are taken by the hand and escorted to the door. If you wish, you may ask your angel for a hug. Thank them once again and say goodbye. As you walk back through the door, it closes behind you. You walk back along the paths and up the steps. Count up if you wish. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and back into the wood. As you are strolling back through the wood towards the field, you notice a small stone circle about a meter in diameter on the ground in front of you. If you wish, you may step into the circle and sit down. Close your eyes. Take a few moments to enjoy the stillness. You sense that someone has joined you. Gently open your eyes and see who it is. Ask for a name. Is it a fairy, an elemental, a tree spirit, or someone else? Again, ask for any message they have to give you. is anything you can do for them. And as you come to that place, you are aware that your personal angel has brought you an incredible gift. And that gift is the awareness that you are a child of God and that you are loved and that you are loved. And your personal angel has walked with you from the moment you were conceived in your mother's womb and was there the moment you were born. And they have walked with each one of us every step of our journey and they have witnessed all that has happened to us, the good times, the sad times, the times when we experienced deep trauma, 
they were there and they are here now. And one would ask, why would we be given a guardian angel? Well, the Father, Mother, God loves us so much that they want only the best for us. And the best that the Father, Mother, God can give to every child of God is a divine messenger who will walk our journey with us, but never interfere manipulate or control us. Yes, they will guide us and yes, they will protect us. And yes, they will always look out for us and all they ask in return is thank you. Two words that our world today have lost the essence and the meaning of thank you. We live in a society where so many have become more preoccupied with self than listening to that still voice of the beloved. A world where so many are lost impoverished in their own woundedness, in their own greed and selfishness. And yet each one has a personal angel who is there, mentoring, nurturing and loving us. For they accept us as we are. They embrace us as we are, and all they ask in return for their love are the words thank you. So my personal contribution of gratitude to my guardian angel and yours was to end this day on the feast of the guardian angels, was to play a recording I did 12 years ago on a CD that I know from what people tell me have touched their life. And I pray that you will make time in your busy journey, in your busy, busy life to say thank you for those two words release a very powerful energy, the energy of love. And you know and I know that God is love and our guardian angel is a messenger of God's love. So let us just be still, be still for this moment. For we are only given one day at a time. And right now, this moment is a miracle because we are alive and we are in the presence of God. And in that presence, we stand in the presence of the Queen of Heaven, who is Queen of the Angels, and who ensures that you and I are encouraged every waking second, of every minute, of every hour, of every day, of every week and year, that we are never alone. Our mind may tell us we are alone. But if we make time and listen to our heart, we will know that God is with us, that our guardian angel is there for us. And it's up to us 
to ask their help. For unless we ask, we don't receive. Because the angels that God commissions for us to us respect our free will and they will never interfere in our life. They wait and wait and wait. So let us celebrate. Let us give thanks to God, to the supreme power, to the creator of all that is holy and blessed for being assigned a personal named guardian angel who does walk with us and who lifts us up by sending us many blessings, many, many blessings. And if you're ever out walking and you see a tiny white feather, remember this, it is a gentle reminder that your guardian angel is present and is waiting for you to ask so that you can receive your abundant blessings from God. Be still now and celebrate. For when you celebrate your birthday, you celebrate two birthdays. You also celebrate the birth of your guardian angel. And that is a wonderful feeling that there are two of us who celebrate our birthday. So let us conclude, my brothers and sisters, as we come together in the name of love and we say thank you to our Father, Mother, God, in the presence of the Queen of Heaven for our personal guardian angel. May God bless you with a restless discomfort about easy answers, half-truths and superficial relationships so that you may seek truth boldly and love deep within your heart. May God bless you with holy anger at injustice, oppression and exploitation of people so that you may tirelessly work for justice, freedom and peace among all people.